The distributor of the Dilbert comic strip announced Sunday that it is cutting ties with the cartoon's creator, Scott Adams, after he called African Americans a hate group. Andrews McMeal Universal released a statement on Twitter in the names of the company's chairman, Hugh Andrews, and CEO and PR. My book agent cancelled me too. In a February 22 video uploaded on his Real Coffee with Scott Adams YouTube video, the cartoonist discussed a recent Rasmussen Reports survey that asked people if they agreed with the statement, it's okay to be white, a phrase the Anti-Defamation League deemed to be a hat. While most of the respondents nevertheless agreed with the statement, Adams pointed to the fact that 26% of black respondents disagreed and others were unsure as proof that African Americans constitute a hate group. I would say, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I just get the fuck away. Wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. The 65-year-old author said in another video Saturday that he had been attempting to argue that everyone should be treated as an individual, before adding, but you should also avoid any group that doesn't respect you, even if there are people within the group who are fine. In an article over the weekend announcing that it too had dropped the cartoon, the Washington Post asked Adams how many newspapers still carried his strip. By Monday, around zero, Adams answered. On Sunday evening, McMeal Universal released its statement announcing the end of its ties with Adams. As a media and communications company, AMU values free speech, the statement read. We are proud to promote and share many different voices and perspectives. But we will never support any commentary rooted in discrimination or hate. Recent comments by Scott Adams regarding race and race relations do not align with our core values as a company. Despite the widespread condemnation of Adams' comments, Elon Musk instead took a different view and attacked media coverage of the row. The media is racist, the Twitter CEO wrote over the weekend. For a very long time, US media was racist against non-white people, now they're racist against whites and Asians, he added. Same thing happened with elite colleges and high schools in America. Maybe they can try not being racist. Quote.